here we are from group 3 and we would like to present about Native American Puritanism and Rationalism and before we start the presentation we would like to introduce ourselves first of me my name is Memo Vicky Ariadi Manalu I'm a moderator and once a presenter and the second one is Lisa she is a presenter and the third is Maya she is a presenter and the last one is uh, Berliana she is also a presenter and here I would like to explain to you about Native Americans in literature Native American also called Indian literature or America, American Indian literature the traditional oral and written literatures of the indigenous people of the Americas these include ancient hieroglyphic and pictographic writing of Middle America as well as an extensive set of folk, of, of folk tales, myths, and oral histories that were transmit, transmitted for centuries by storytellers and that live on in the language words of many contemporary American Indian writers. In general, sorry, in general characters, folk tales have been a part of the social and cultural life of American Indian and Eskimo people, regardless of whether they were mm, sedentary agriculturists or nomadic hunters. As they regard Sorry, as they gather around a fire at night, Native Americans could be transported to another world through the talent of a good storyteller. The effect was derived not only from the novelty of the tale itself, but also from the imaginative skill of the narrator who often added gestures and songs and occasionally adapted a particular tale to suit a certain culture uh, at an in oral literature american indian mythology can be divided into three major cultural regions and the first one is North American cultures. This is from the Eskimos to the Indians along to the Mexican border. And the second one is Central and South American urban cultures. And the last one is Caribbean and South American hunting and gathering and farming cultures. Uh, for more specific about this culture, you can read the the paper that I that we gave to you in we are groups, okay. And for the last one is written literatures. In the 16th century, the area of hieroglyphic writing did not coincide with that of Maya speech. It appears that the hieroglyph originate in such language as uh, Almec and, and Zepotic. Maybe hieroglyph on stone and wood are confined largely to the classic period. The period is 300 to 900 uh, common existence. So, 
21st century scholars show the uh, earliest Mayan Maya hieroglyphic writing to predate that period by several centuries. <clears throat> Concurrently with the classic period of the Maya, the people of Mexico were also developing a wit written language, which was not as highly uh, sophisticated as that of the Maya and could more correctly be called picture writing. The pictographic writing of the uh, Aztec was too simple to record literature. Overing, overing no way of making general statements or expressing abstract ideas. Though there was no alphabet in this writing, a picture and a picture of an object or an animal could be combined with another and given a new meaning so maybe it's enough uh, to explain about native american and next uh... okay i will explain about puritanism puritanism was a religious reform movement within the church of england the Protestant Reformation and the establishment of the Anglican Church in the 16th century, which later became even stronger in the 17th century. The shock to purify the Church of England from the remnants of Roman Catholic vessel, which the Puritans claim had been preserved after religious settlement reached its beginning during the reign of the Queen Elizabeth I. The pressure and imprudent actions of Puritans by James I and Charles I made Puritans a political movement in opposite to the king. These people succeeded in overthrowing and executing Charles I and then establishing a commonwealth or republican government under the leadership of Oliver Cromwell. After Cromwell's death in 1658, conservative Puritans supported the restoration of King Charles II and the modified Episcopal overman. However, they were defeated by those who returned a loud strict Episcopal pattern. Thus, British Puritanism entered a period known as the Great Persecution. Puritans became known in the 17th century for a spirit of moral and religious earnestness that informed their whole way of life. And they saw through church to make their lifestyle the pattern for the whole nation. Their efforts to reform the nation contributed both to civil war in England and to the founding co colonies in America as working models of the Puritans' way of life. In the 1660, the Republic ended with the restoration of restoration of the monarchy under the control of King Charles II. During the Puritan period, the literary works produced were poetry and prose. Poetry in this period, there are three types. First, metaphysical poetry, second, cavalier poetry, and third, Puritan poetry. And for the prose, the author of the prose in this period is John Bunyan, famous for his allegorical work, The Pilgrim's Progress. But for the drama could not develop because it was prohibited by the authorities. I will explain about rationalism. In Western philosophy, the view that rejects reason as the stiff source 
and test of knowledge, holding that reality itself as an inher inherently logical structure. The rationalists assert that a class of truths exists that the intellect can grasp directly. There are, according to the rationalists, certain rational principles, especially in logic and mathematics, and even in ethics and metaphysics, that are so fundamental that to deny them is to fall into contradiction the rationalist confidence in reason and proof tends therefore to detract from their respect for for other ways of knowing rationalist has long been the rival of empirish empiris the doctrine that all knowledge comes from and must be tested by sense experience as against this doctrine rationalist holds reason to be a faculty that can lay hold of truth beyond the reach of sense perceptions but both in certainty and generality in stressing the ex existence of a natural life. Rationalist has also been the rival of systems claiming esoteric knowledge, whether from mystical experience, revelation, or intonation, and has been opposite to various irrationalists that tend to stress the biological, the emotional or vol volitional, the un unconscious or the existential at the exp expense of the rational. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I will explain what are the status of rationalism. Number one is religious, number two ethical, and number three metaphysical. Number one, religious, with increasing freedom of thought, the writer acceptance of scientific views. Rationalism in religion loses its novelty and much of its controversial excitement. To the contemporary mind, it is too obvious, obvious to warrant debate that reason and relevation cannot both qualify as a sources of a ultimate truth for a word they conflict truth itself will become self contra contradictory number two is ethical rationalism in ethics suffered its share of criticism regarding its list of rules on the keeping of promises the return of Lord goods. It was or good or good or great, for example, that if they were specific enough to be useful, as in the rule against lying or stealing, they will tend to have exceptions, which no rule laid down by reason in the oak. To have and number three metaphysical typical of ways of reason reasoning employed by real rational rationalists were two approaches taken to the metaphysical doctrine that all things are connected by internal relations relations 
one a logical, the other a casual argument. An internal relation is one that could not be removed without affecting the term term selfish between which the racial the relation holds. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your attention everyone. And if you have any question about our topic, please comment below. Okay. Thank you. See you. Bye bye.